Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. In this video, I'm going to be moving into my Sakura planner and doing my transformer setup for April. So I have been in, um, these are from Planners Anonymous. Um, I do have a link in my description boxes for 10% um, off of your first month subscription if you decide to subscribe to Planners Anonymous, but that's a story for a different video. Check out any of my unboxings um, to see what's in those monthly kits if you're interested in subscribing. But this is called a classic melody. It holds a classic size happy planner with tons and tons and tons of room to spare, tons of boxes. I've got some unboxings of these on my on my channel as well. So let's get going. I love I love Northern Lights and um, I could easily happily stay in this uh, melody all through spring because not only is it like wintry but it's also got this spring flowers um, it, you know the the mountain um, fields of flowers but I have the Sakura melody this was the very first one I got I think this was the first one that came in the classic size and I just, uh, those of you who have followed my channel for quite some time now, you know that I lived and worked in Japan. And even before that, my husband and I traveled to Japan all the time. We just love Japan. And one of the things we love about Japan is um, cherry blossom season, cherry blossom festival, which is right now our cherry blossom in our back tree in our backyard is going crazy right now. So, um, Except the little birds keep picking all the stuff, off, all the florals off of them. I don't know what that was. So I'm just pulling some stuff out of here that I definitely want to move to my other planner. This um, will stay in here. The pen, that this is the Northern Lights kit pen. It'll stay in here. This is a little Northern Lights deco card. That's going to stay in here. I will leave the charms on here so that it's partially ready to go for next year or whenever I decide to put it back on, maybe during the summer. This is the Northern Lights charm. This charm actually came with a different kit, um, but I felt like the purple matched okay. I could actually go ahead and put it on Sakura, but I have a different idea for that one. So we'll set this off to the side. This is gonna go on my bookshelf and be stored until I'm ready to use again. This I used last year in the springtime. I have um, the Sakura charm on here that matches so it's got the little origami bird and one of the cherry blossoms in the right colors um, i do have the pretty rose gold pen i have a back in already in here from using it last year i've got some um, stuff already in here from last year a little this is a little notepad a post-it notepad with a kitty with a sakura blossom so this mag is a magnetic bookmark. Um, I think came from the first planner babe planner love kit. I've got some of my business cards and some of hubby's business cards. So I actually don't even need all of this stuff. I don't know how much of this will make it in there. Although I tell you what, as you can see, as I'm pulling stuff in and out, there are tons and tons and tons of room for lots of pockets. This is the the list pad, um, the Sakura list pad. So just lots of fun stuff. And I still have tons of pockets. Um, I've got a pocket, another one. You could, if you want to put something in there, I've got a pocket here. It's got the strings. The back side is another pocket. So just lots and lots and lots of pockets. I'm gonna go with the pink discs. I just had these discs on in February. Um, but I just, I can't, I looked through my collection and I didn't have any other discs that I thought went as well with this. Gold ones would be fine because it's got gold hardware. The pen is rose gold, so um, maybe rose gold would work, but that's okay. And these discs are Talia brand. I got them from Amazon. They are bigger than a classic size disc, but smaller than the expander disc, which is perfect when I have three sections on my transformer planner. Um, so let's go ahead and get set up. Um, I am going to reuse one of the covers I'm using now. So we'll grab it first. I'm gonna, of course, use the Sakura cover. So a transformer planner is a special kind of um, Franken planner. A Franken planner is anytime you use 
you put multiple things, pieces, parts together from other, uh, from multiple sources. It can be all Happy Planner. It can be stuff you made yourself. Um, whatever floats your boat. So think of like Frankenstein's monster. Um, it can be, it can be anything all put together. I am using three sets of covers that I made myself. I have a couple different videos on how to make your own covers depending on if you have access to a 10 mil laminator or just a three to five mil laminator. Um, the three to five mil is a, a double layer, which makes it a little bit more complicated, a little bit more time consuming, but that's okay. I will try to remember to link that in the cards up above, but it's easy to find. So um, here is, all I've done so far is put a front and back cover together. Um, front and back cover together like you would normally put it together. Now we're going to go ahead and grab some pages. So I think, let's see, I definitely want this to be wellness. I just love this, um, the serenity of this cover. I think since I'm most seasonal in my catch-all planner, I could do either this one or the Sakura one. Um, since that's modern meow and cats don't like rain, let's go Sakura as my catch-all planner. So coming back over here to my um, March setup, the way I set up my Franken planner, I do three months. I do previous, current, and next. So we'll get the perpetual calendar and the title page out. And then February now falls out of my planner. It's, it's far enough old that it doesn't go in here anymore. So I have my archive. I also have a video on how to make archives and I will try to remember again to link that in the cards up above. Um, and I have this divider or I mean a pocket, actually the pocket needs to go. So it's a pocket slash divider. And what this divider does is split is show me where I'm currently at right so all the used months go on one side so January's in there we'll go ahead and put February in there it's always a fun game trying to fit all of this on camera and the cat's in the craft closet jumping up on stuff trying to knock it down okay so then March becomes my previous month, so we'll keep it. I don't need that bookmark. So we'll move March over. Since this is my April setup, March is the previous month. So the discs are a little floppy right now because there's nothing really on them. That's okay, that'll, that'll get better as we add more stuff. All right, and then where'd my bookmark go? This is the matching Sakura bookmark. I just laminated a sheet of the Sakura acetate. It's gold on one side and silver on the other. I prefer silver, so I laminated this as the front. So we'll just go ahead and pop that in here. I will have a video out next week on setting up my, um, some people call them currently pages. I use them for, for monthly goals. And we'll go ahead and we'll decorate um, this page as well. It needs some kitties for sure. So since this is my April setup, the April is the current month. I have a notes section I need to bring over. And then we need to grab May as my future month because I find for me, that is as much as I typically need for scheduling. Um, and you always have your perpetual calendar if you wanna, if you have something further out you wanna note, you can throw a post-it note on the perpetual calendar and then get it into your main. So as far as the magic goes, we're not there yet. Right now it's just a super skinny planner, a front cover, a back cover, three months, and a notes section. To make this into a transformer planner, and incidentally, I'm done with that archive, so we'll get off to the side. So now we're, now we're going to make the magic happen. So to add another section, we're going to go to inside the very back cover. And we're going to go ahead and put our next two sets of covers on. So this is the Rainy Days kit. It's an older Planners Anonymous kit. I just love this scene. I live in the Pacific Northwest. It rains a lot. I love the rain. I don't mind it at all. I make all my covers reversible. So this is going to be my front cover. This is going to be my back cover. So I'm going to put the front cover on where I would normally put the front cover. I'm just, 
inside the planner. Now I'm going to put the back cover on this side. That's a, a little bit tricky, but you'll see why here in a second. So front cover, back cover, when I pick up the discs, it flops shut and now I have just transformed into a whole different planner. And I know this is going to be my social media, so now we'll go ahead and put in all the stuff inside my social media planner. So that's where I keep I have a clear dashboard, happy planner dashboard that all the stuff is off and I just stick my, I have a whole bunch of different post-it notes on here. So that I keep inside my social media planner. Then we'll go ahead and move again the name page and the perpetual calendar. All right, we are done with February. So let me grab my social media archive and I have a video on how to make these archives um, I can't remember if I said this already or not. I will try to remember to link it in the cards up above, but it's just basically a placemat from Walmart or Dollar Tree. Um, you can get a front and a back cover out of one placemat if you're doing classic size. I have my divider here, which I don't know why I didn't put January in the right spot, but that's okay. We'll fix that right now. All right, so, and this is just a pocket folder from the back to school section that I cut apart. You can see this process too in my, um, in my archive creation video, which is easy to find on my channel. Okay, so this is February. It goes on this side of the divider because February is a past month. All right, so now, for my April setup in the social media section, I need March to come over. I'm gonna move this bookmark. Don't need it anymore. I'm gonna use the matching bookmark that I made. So there's March. That will be previous months. We'll go ahead and just throw the bookmark in here. And this bookmark, since the page was too short, um, I, I layered it and there's a layer of acetate over a layer of paper. They're not stuck together. So this is just a tiny bit pillowy, but that doesn't bother me. And then it is one notch short, but again, the bookmark doesn't need to come all the way down to the bottom, right? It just needs to stick out the top or wherever your bookmark bookmarks stick out. I mine stick out the top. Okay. Let's move April, which will become the current month. I'm filming this at the end of May, March, and then we need to bring May over as my future month. Sometimes I have video ideas, um, especially in the latter half of the month that I need to get on the schedule. So it helps to have the future month there. And then here is just a small notes section I happen to have in my social media planner. There we go. All right, so right now my transformer planner has two sections, six months, and two notebook sections, and we're starting to get a little fatter. When I go to the next, so, and I know this is my social media section, when I go to the next set of covers and flip them open, you can see I've got a, and I pick it up by the discs and let it flop shut, my front cover matches my back cover, and I know that this is my catch-all planner, Modern Meow. All right, we're gonna, we're not done yet though. We're gonna add one more section. We're gonna add my wellness and fitness in here. So one more archive, one more section. So I'm gonna go again inside the very back cover. I'm gonna do my last set of covers. So this is from um, another Planners Anonymous kit. This one was all about health and wellness. And there was a coordinating sticker book um, from Michaels that you might still be able to find. Um, that has stickers. It was the one of the collabs between Planners Anonymous and Craft Smart that was sold in Michaels. So again, I've got front cover, back cover. When I grab it by the discs, it flips shut, and there we go. Now I have my wellness planner. So when I open the cover, I want my wellness stuff to be here. So here again is my title page. I don't use the perpetual calendar on this one. And then February is old, so it's gonna go in the wellness archive. So there are my unused, so this is the entire planner that is my wellness. All the used and unused pages. 
This divider, again, is just a half of a pocket folder from the back to school section. It needs to actually go here and have the unused pages on this side. So there's, we'll put we'll move February over. I'm using the seasonal floral planner for my wellness. I'll move this over. Okay, so then premium, previous, current, and next, I need March. That'll be previous. We'll go ahead and stick the matching bookmark in, which another is another one that's a one notch short, but that's okay. And then we'll stick current in April. And there is no notes section in my wellness planner, so that's it. Now all that's left on here is um, if I had left the bookmarks in, bookmarks and a couple covers, so these will go back on the shelf into storage. And then we need future month, May, from the archive. There we go. And if, eventually when we get to 2023, this will be all used and it'll be stored on my shelf with my other past planners so that I can refer back to like, when did my knee start hurting uh, uh, or when, what did I do for my Halloween spreads last year? Cause I, you know, that kind of thing. So there we go. There is my entire transformer planner. It's nine months. Um, a, you can see the thick dashboard with the post-it notes on it there. Three sets of covers, three bookmarks, a couple notes sections, and I still have lots of room on the discs. Um, again, these are not quite as big as expander discs. I have my wellness, and I know that that's my wellness. I can flip to the next set of covers and transform. There we go. There is my catch-all modern meow planner. And then one more time. I can transform and there is my social media planner. So this is great if you need to get, you, you know, if you have like a homeschool planner, if you have a budgeting planner, if you have a work planner, that kind of stuff, you can put it all on one set of discs. So then let's go ahead and go another step further. And I will show you in some of my monthly videos, I show you where I set up my challenge trackers. So in my social media planner, I like dashboard for that, but I liked the, um, the dividers, the monthly dividers from a, a vertical planner. So I take, I need fresh post-it notes. These aren't sticking anymore. Um, I take the two calendar pages from that one. And then instead of using this page, my vertical, I actually have then the beginning of my dashboard pages. So <clears throat> I don't need both calendar pages. They don't match exactly. So, um, but what I do put in here then is a challenge tracker. So any of the hashtags, the challenges that I can find on Instagram or Facebook, and that is so super bright, you can't even see it. Some months I show you how I make this. I went ahead and did this off camera. Check out um, March's transformer setup and move-in video if you want to see how I make this. Um, it's super simple. But then what I'll do is just tape runner these two pages together so that when I turn from the calendar, I go straight to the challenges. And then I will tape runner these two pages together. I'm not going to do it yet because I don't know if... Um, I'm going to use scrap of paper here or what I'm going to do there. So once I decide what this week's spread is going to be, then I can tape runner these two pages together. I'm going to wait to do this one too, just because I haven't done this, this layout yet and heaven forbid something go wrong, then I still can replace that page. So, all right, let me show you then how it goes in the melody. So, oh my gosh, my post-it notes, I reuse them from month to month and they're losing all their sticky. I need new post-it notes. All right, so here's my melody. I have the one charm that came with it, and you all know me, I'm the cat lady. So what I thought I would do, I need a kitty cat on here. I have this metal bookmark, which I don't know about you all, but I, I don't read physical books anymore. So I just, I got it because it was a kitty cat, and I got it at Daiso, which 
um, are mostly West Coast stores. It's basically the Japanese dollar store. We have them up here in Seattle. I know there used to be one down in Portland, Oregon, and there are several in California. But um, And everything's a dollar there. But I just thought it was so pretty and so cute. Um, I could leave the red ribbon on there, but the red doesn't really go with this. So I'm going to take that off. And the cats will find it and play with it, I'm sure. Gently, because I don't want to... It's very super thin metal, and I don't want to bend it. There we go. All right, so now I just have the little metal kitty cat with the little loop there. So now I have this package of these are basically um, cell phone accessory pack strings um, and I use these when I go to planner meetups which I haven't been to since COVID but I usually make um, charms because I used to do chain mail and jewelry making so that is in my skill set um, I, I make my own charms so I have these it's just a string with a lobster claw. So we're going to use the lobster claw to attach to that loop. Okay. There we go. So now I've got, I've got my little bookmark on a string. So then what you do with this loop is you come through one of these string loops. So I'm just going to slide this through there. And sometimes it will help if you use a pair of tweezers. There we go. And then all you do is you put the charm through the loop like so. And there we go. So now I have a kitty cat charm in addition to the Sakura charm on my classic melody. And you can put as many charms on there as you want. I just, I had to have a kitty cat. I have a black one that I'm going to add to my fierce melody as well that I also got at Daiso when I go to use it. So, and then I have a few things put in the pockets. Again, check out my um, unboxing and setup videos. I have one from Christmas. I have one from Northern Lights where I explain what I'm doing and why. This just lives in here. This is an old back cover that kind of matched so that I um, didn't care for the rest and I knew I would never use. So it just lives in there. And now I just put this on the discs and I am ready then to travel. I am all set up. I have what I need. I can add a pouch with other stuff. I can add another dashboard if I need to. And this just lives on my desk. It's easy to snap back out of there if I need to take some photos or if I want to have a different section front and center in my planner. But there we go. There is my April um, Transformer setup video and move in into my uh, Sakura classic size melody. I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you to um, look into these. Uh, there are plenty of these different melodies left in the Planners Anonymous um, warehouse and they have been having some sales lately to try to clear out more of that um, inventory. They're not the cheapest covers but this is vegan leather and it, I tell you what it is the nicest highest quality vegan leather I have ever, ever come across. It's soft. Um, it's well constructed. I've never had a single stitch come loose on any of these and I have several of them. So it's worth the investment, especially if you can catch them on sale. If you're just looking for something slightly different, again, there are so many pockets and there's so, so much room. Um, this is a great cover if you're looking to invest in something and they're just absolutely beautiful as you could see. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.